Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to go over some of the best practices when cutting LED profiles, whether by hand or with a power tool. Let's begin by cutting this small profile with a hacksaw. Be sure to use a fine blade, made for cutting metals. You're also going to want some masking tape, which you may call painter's tape. The first step is to take a quick measurement of your cut. By doing this we can determine where to put our tape. Once we've added the tape we can take a precise measurement. Using tape not only saves us from having to make a mark on our LED profiles, but it also holds the diffuser in place, while preventing scratching and splintering. Use clamps or a vise to hold your profile in place. Be sure to not apply too much pressure, as you may end up damaging your profile. Wearing a glove on your non-cutting hand adds another layer of protection, and is recommended. To save your time we've sped up this video, but be sure to use long slow and steady strokes when cutting your profile. When using a miter saw, the most important thing is to use a non-ferrous blade with a high tooth count. When cutting the diffuser by itself, an OSB or plywood blade is recommended. Please remember to wear safety glasses when cutting your profile, as the miter saw can shoot small shards of metal toward your eyes. For more information on cutting LED profiles and diffusers, please check out our blog post on the subject. Thanks for watching. We hope that this video was helpful, and we look forward to creating more videos like this in the future.